Hi, I'm Brian English, uh, forum name Hyperbytes, and we're going to continue our module on uh, image management. We've now looked at how we can upload a single image to a server, multiple images to our server, and we've also introduced the drop zone component. But of course, these images are uploaded raw. We have no idea what sort of size they are, whether they're suitable for use in our web page. So we need to look at how we can manage those images once they're uploaded to make sure that they are of appropriate sizes, etc., to be used within the web page. So I'm going into our upload image action. And remember, now we have a, a, a post variable which is giving us um, multiple file names now and we've uploaded them what we need to do now is simply to add within our from our core actions we need to add a repeat and we're going to repeat on that file upload that we have here and that means then we can access each individual element within that file upload um, sequentially and we'll process them as we need so let's just do some very simple image management and then we first of all we're going to have to load our image in the memory so we use load image and we're loading that image from our path We're now going to do a simple resize. So again, we're going to do add action. We're going to image processor and we're going to do an image resize. And I want the image to be about 640 pixels wide. So we can just say 640. And because we actually might have images smaller than that uploaded, um, we need to be able to also to upscale them as well. So if we upload an image that's 480, for instance, that will upscale that image automatically. It means we're going to get a poorer quality, so we need to be able to spot these. But at the end of the day, if we're going to allow people to upload images, it's more important that we don't have an error than it is that the image is not quite the quality that we want. Having resized that image, then we're going to add a save action now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just copy that path there because I'm going to be using that again here what I'm going to do is I'm now going to do a save image action and I'm going to be saving that to that path but I'm going to add some extra on the end here I'm going to add um, We call, we'll call it full. That's a full-sized image, uh, but obviously at 640 pixels maximum. We can force every image to be of the same format, and this defaults to everything changes to a JPEG. I'm not so keen on that. I like to leave it auto. That basically means that it will retain the file type that it was uh, that it has when it was first uploaded. I'm going to save it by the simple name and its extension as we would before. And I'm going to just output that stage as well so we can see what happens in that. So let's save that action. Let's go into our page count page and let's fire that up in our web browser. Let's see before I do that I'm just going to open the Dev tools. Yes, I know there's a shortcut for them, but I like to do things from a menu when I'm doing um, training stuff, just purely because uh, it shows people exactly what's happening. So we're going to hit the image. We're going to pick some images here. I'm going to open that. And we're going to submit that. But I'm just going to clear that console first we're going to hit submit see our image upload occurs and if I click on that we see now that we've got name Brian one uploaded and then we've got the second image ringway house 
and then we've got another image which is roof 2 and then within the repeat now you can see that we have those images again processed and they're being dumped into the full folder and they should be resized to the six maximum width of 640. So if I have a look now in our folder, if I look in the public, I'm looking in uploads, I'm looking at page images one, we see now we have a folder called full and we have the images. And if I just look at the properties of that image, I look at the size of it, we can see that it has been resized to 640 wide by 413. So that resize action has resized that to the size that we want. So we now go back into our API action. I would like to now save, small, save a smaller image um, and that's going to be a cover image. Co cover images are uh, an interesting one. Um, just give me one moment. I'm just going to first of all just load it in there. Um, cover fit image. What is a cover fit image? Well, it, it's, it does the same as a resize to some degree, but it'll only size it down to a size where the image will fit the dimensions that are specified. And then once it's got it scaled down, if needs be, it will crop out any sections that are needed. So if we have an image that's 640 by 480 and we say covers fit to um, 640 by 320, it would simply create an image of 630 by 320 by cropping. But if it was to be, say, 480 by 260, then it would just scale that image down until it just fitted both the X and Y axis of those um, dimensions, and then it would crop out the excess. So we will always have an image of the full size. So the cover fits, I, I tend to just use these within uh, repeats, so you get a, effectively a thumbnail. It's an alternative to a thumbnail. And I want this to perhaps be, um, let's say, 160 by um, 80. And it'll be formatted from the center, so it will, once it's scaled that down, it will take that cent center of that image. And then I'm just going to duplicate that. I'm going to just drag that down there, because we've got the same image, image again. But instead of being full, we're going to call that cover. Save that again. Let's give it another try. So I'll go back into that page management. I'm going to fire up that. I'm going to click here. I'm going to go into the drop zone. I'm going to select a couple of images. We'll open them, submit that. And then now let's look at the effect that we've had within our project. Let's look at our webs, community web, We've got our public folder, our uploads, page images, image one, and now you see we have a cover image as well that's been created for them. So that's how we use an image resize, and that's how we use a, an image com com cover fit to be able to create the uh, images that we want. So now we just need to look at how we're going to deal with saving those um, image details in a database. So we'll look at that in our next module.